Hey girl, if you want to see how I took my boring, lame apartment from this to this, keep watching. Whenever I moved into my space, I completely fell for the it girl aesthetic. All neutrals. And I've slowly been trying to add in color, but it's not happening fast enough. But really, let me show you what the issue, what I'm not liking. Okay. I started a gallery wall at the beginning, clearly did not happen. Wh what is this? Um, you see the aesthetic with the neutral color pillow? Not really feeling that anymore. The walls are just so blank. I'm not a fan. So here's what I'm thinking. We are going to incorporate color. I hang up when it comes to adding color to my home. I don't want it to look childish. I don't want it to look tacky. That's why I always navigated towards neutral colors because I felt it looked more grown. I'm thinking pillows. I'm thinking throws. I'm thinking art, small little trinkets and things like that. These walls are too blank. I'm not digging this. We're gonna do a little DIY wainscoting. We're gonna slowly try to change up the space. So come with me, I'm gonna go get dressed and we're gonna go shopping, cause we got some things to do, girl. I lied, we're not gonna shop yet. I want you to see what it looked like before. Everything is like very stark. It's very bright apartment, but everything just looks very flat, very washed out and I'm not a fan of it. One of the things I've always wanted to do was wainscoting. I'm obsessed with the Parisian style apartment. I love the very detailed onlays into the walls. I think it's so cool, but I wanted to find a way to do it DIY and I did it. They're very light. That's gonna be good. Oh my God. Okay, these are the little panels, guys. Oh yeah, it's not wood at all. I thought it was gonna be wood and it was gonna be heavy. This is gonna be perfect because I got command strip. I'm gonna finish opening this and I'll be back. So here's all the pieces. They make it so dummy proof. And they have this little picture diagram, can you see? And they're all numbered. Ones are the long ones, twos are the mediums, threes are the smaller pieces. It shows you exactly what it is. They are so light. It's not wood. Um, I forgot what they said it is. It kind of looks like a strong foam. And it's going to be perfect because I have command strips to make it really renter friendly and DIY. Can you believe that whenever I was going to look at this other company, I was going to pay thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars for this? Yeah, no, ma'am. And I wasn't even going to get as many pieces as I got. Get on Etsy if you need any type of like crafty type of thing. Get on Etsy because I only paid like three hundred dollars for these. Is that called a sale, baby? Time to map it out so i made this a long time ago when i was thinking about it i measured that back wall it's 208 inches below on the bottom and then on the top and it's 100 inches from top to bottom that's the measurement from like where the couch is i'm not going to put the bottom ones because i'm not going to move my couch just to put them there you're not going to be able to see them now i have the measurements for each of the poles so I got the Velcro type of command strip and I got the 10 pound. Low key, I could have just did five because they're that light and I use two on each panel. So one at the bottom, one at the top. I could have put one in the middle, but honestly it wasn't needed because it was so light. And I know someone's gonna be like, oh my God, I can't do it by myself. Clearly I'm doing it by myself. My boyfriend was gonna come over and help me, but I didn't have time to wait. Like I wanted to get it done right then and there. And let me tell you how tech savvy I am. I was like, I'm not good at math. Like, how do I figure out the spacing? I literally took all of my measurements, typed out a little blurb in chat GPT, and it told me what I needed to space. It literally was like, space it three and a half inches from the wall and get it done. And I got it done. And the version I got had bottom pieces and I only did it on the two outside because my couch is covering the wall. So there's no point in me moving my couch because you're not going to see it. And these were super easy to put up as well. this is what it's looking like so far let me get in the corner um not bad i ran out of command strips so i have to go get more of these but i just have to put the bottom one down here and then i am i have like two more of these long poles so i was thinking of putting it over here to just make it kind of cohesive so just do the long one and then a short one down here and that'll be it. My walls are not white. They're like this kind of beigey 
tone i'm thinking about asking my apartment building like what color paint that is and thinking about painting those um they do have like this not plasticky but um smooth surface so i don't know maybe i can find a spray paint that'll be a little bit easier don't know but i'm not mad at this look either we're gonna get dressed and do the fun part go get more command strips and we're gonna shop because i need to change up you know these pillows and things i'm gonna start yapping i'm gonna go to tj maxx because it's closer i'm hungry though i'm really freaking freaking hungry because if you sleeping on tj maxx like what are you doing they be having the finds like jewelry finds all kinds of finds i wish they had a pink they don't <laughs> It's like a slate green. I'm kind of digging it. And they're pretty big. But then I also want to have pink in there because I want to make it more feminine. They have these. I don't know if I'm too much of a fan. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. I finished all my shopping and came home and got right back to it, putting up the last panels. And then I had the two extra over, so I put it on this side just to make it very cohesive. And I think it was the right move. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the only tool that I needed was a leveler. So, girl, go get you a little tool kit. If you at your big grown age, you need to have one anyways. I got my little pink one off of Amazon, and the leveler came in handy because that's what's going to make sure that everything is straight. So go get you a leveler, girl. Another way that I've been bringing color into my home is making my own bouquets. I just go to Trader Joe's, pick out what's cute and normally pink, like pink or purple type flowers, and make a bouquet. I was going to show you the full thing, but I don't know what happened to the footage. So sorry, sis. I'm not even completely sold on these pillows the color scheme i just wanted something different this is just like for spring i wanted something more bright fresh instead of just like it girl i'm, I'm getting kind of over it you know i'm gonna be doing more in my apartment you know sprucing it up trying to make it more me um my bedroom is next or maybe my bathroom my bathroom is next and my bedroom is also going to be next um i actually bought a new bed Bought some new nightstands. So I'm going to be changing that all up. If you liked it, stay tuned. I just really wanted to post something before YouTube decides to demonetize me. Because I'm not actually posting regularly. But yeah. More content coming up. More vloggy vlogs too. But I don't know. One more time. One more time. Ignore, ignore the chair. Ignore my ashy knuckles. A vibe. If you made it this far, I love you down, sweetheart. I really do. I hope you guys come back. This will be a series of me redecorating my apartment to feel more like me. Like I said, next up, my bedroom. I'm so excited for you to see this bed that I got. I am screaming. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Love you. Like and subscribe.